What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. It is so good to be back. I've missed you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the Stream Deck Mobile 2.0 app for Android. I'm going to show you how to get it set up as well as some cool things that can only be done on your phone in the Android version. So let's get into it. Now, if you were like me, you used the original Stream Deck mobile app for Android and thought it was pretty cool. Or maybe you hated it. A lot of people seem to have problems getting it connected to their computer. I never really seem to have that problem, but admittedly, I have pretty good internet. However, when I saw that the iOS version was updated with a lifetime license, as well as having six keys for free or up to 128 keys on a tablet, more on that in a little bit, I immediately went to update. However, I live in Green Bubble Land, so I didn't get that update and it didn't really make a lot of sense for a while and it kind of hurt, but it turns out that they had to rewrite the code from the ground up to make the Android version, which is why it took so long. So in my mind, knowing the amount of work that kind of stuff takes, I am so grateful that they put in that work to bring these amazing features to us. But without further ado, let's get started. So first things first is you're going to download the app. And to download the app, you're going to go to the Google Play Store. You're going to search for Stream Deck or Elgato Stream Deck Mobile. Either of those options work just fine. And then you will come over here and you will click the install button. Or if you want to install it on multiple devices, you can see the list of devices that you have here. And that's super cool. Uh, I'm just going to do it on this device though, because that's what I want. Now, if you had tried the app before and had a negative experience with it in the past, it's possible that you gave the app a pretty low rating. If you are one of the people that did give the app a poor review, after you see how awesome this new app is, please take some time to update your review of the app. I know Elgato was trying really hard to get that app store rating up, and so I know they would appreciate it. But that being said, what we're going to do now is we are going to open the app and you'll be met with this screen. Now there are two buttons on the screen, as you can tell. One says send link, the other says continue. If you have not downloaded the Stream Deck software to your computer yet, you will click send link. That will send you a link to download the software. If you already have it downloaded, you can just click continue and bibbidi bobbidi boo, uh, you're good to go. Now, what we wanna do is we, after you've downloaded the software, we need to sync the computer. To sync the computer, what you're going to do is you're going to tap on this button here that says add computer, and you will allow Stream Deck to take pictures while using the app, and you'll set your device off to the side. You will go into the Stream Deck software, and up here, you will click the little drop down button. If you already have Stream Decks, so you, you'll be familiar with this. If this is your first Stream Deck, you'll still click the little button and click add mobile device. And then you'll see a QR code right here. Now, what you'll do with your device is you will scan that QR code with your device and you'll see that you have a six digit alphanumeric code right here that will be different every time you sync a device. That code should be the exact same as a code that appears on your Stream Deck software. If it is not the exact same code, click do not trust and try again. You shouldn't have that problem unless you're trying to sync up multiple computers with multiple Stream Decks at the same time. But if it is the same, you'll just click trust. And voila, now you'll see 15 keys at your disposal, right? But Sam, you said I only get six keys. That's right, because you do only get six keys. If you go look at your device, you'll see that a bunch of these buttons are locked down. Now you can get rid of those buttons uh, by going up here to layout and switching it over to mini, and then you won't have those buttons. If you this is how you want to live, they're free forever. Do with them as you will. However, for those of us who want to maximize our usage of this, we're going to go to our settings and you're going to click upgrade to pro. Now there are three different options for a license here. If you come down here to view other plans, you will see you have a one month, a one year and a lifetime. I am convinced this is most popular just because it came out not too long ago. And so people are wanting to take advantage of the one month free trial before they purchase it. I recommend getting the lifetime license just because that's the best value and I'm all about value. So after you click whichever option you want, I'm not judging you, you'll click continue, process your payments and so on and so forth. I've already purchased it. And if you have already purchased it and you're installing it on a new device and you do not have to buy a second license, you can just restore purchases. Now you'll see that this option says my pro purchase. And if you tap it, you get all this cool information. Now, once you've upgraded to Pro, 
what I need you to do is scroll down beneath this video and click the like button and the subscribe button. Yes, you gotta do that right now. You good? You did it? Okay, perfect. Now, let's show off how all this works. You have your Stream Deck options, okay? If you click the cog in the bottom right, you will see layout, orientation, appearance, and faceplate. If you click on layout, you can choose from four different layouts. The mini layout, which will give you a Stream Deck mini, three by two, that's what we're, that's what I just showed you. A classic, which is basically your Stream Deck Mark II, your Stream Deck Classic, it's 15 keys. The Stream Deck XL, which is 32 keys, which is friggin' amazing. For context, a Stream Deck XL costs $250, a lifetime license costs 50. So I'll let you do the math. No matter which way you slice it, that's a that's a bargain. But then you also get custom. Now with custom, what you get is you get to choose how big you want your device. So eight by eight, or you can even go down to a one by eight. And basically what that looks like is now you have a, a bar. I'm gonna make another video on something cool that you can do with this, but for now, this is freaking sweet. But anyway, if you come up to eight by eight layout, then what you can do is now you have all 64 of these big, beautiful keys. Now you'll notice 64 keys is a lot less than 128. So how do you get 128 keys? What you can do is you can tap the cog in the bottom right, scroll down, and you'll see an option that says split screen. If you tap split screen, you'll be met with now another dock. You've basically entered multitasking mode. This is available on iPads as well, but not on iPhones. But on Android phones, ah, we'll talk about that here in a second. Stay tuned. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another virtual device. So what you'll do is you'll tap add virtual device. You'll give it a name. We'll name this one Stanley. Perfect. And then what we'll do is we'll tap layout, custom 8x8, go back. Uh, we'll talk about the other options here in just a second. But then you'll click connect. And now you'll see, ooh, now we have two 64 key stream decks for a total of 128 keys. Bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Now, you'll notice that the Stream Deck on your device and the Stream Deck in the software have different orientations. How do you fix that? Because that's annoying. What you'll do is you'll go to the cog on each Stream Deck, you'll go to orientation and switch it from dynamic to fixed. Okay, go back, cog, dynamic, fixed. And then you'll see that your stream decks are now oriented properly. Perfect. Now, what you can do is if you want to change your different stream decks here, right? what you can do is you can come here and you can choose from your different ones. So like for example, Stream Deck Mobile or Stanley, right? And just to show that these are different, I'll put a bunch of audio sources on Stanley here, right? Stream Deck Mobile, no audio sources. Stream Deck Stanley, audio sources. So now that we've seen that, let's show you some cool things to do on your phone. So when you open up your Stream Deck app on another device, this is kind of what it's gonna look like. You'll have your mobile devices up at the top that you've already put in from your other device, right? And then you'll see the options to add computer. It's the same kind of setup process if you're doing it on a tablet. But what you'll do is now you can choose your Stream Decks from, from the other device, right? And you'll see that I can change it to custom eight by eight. I wouldn't recommend this for a phone. Um, the phone, the buttons become almost prohibitively small, especially if you have big fat man fingers like I have. My recommendation is if you're wanting one Stream Deck on your phone, go with the XL. The XL has 32 keys. The keys are still plenty big for, for your fingers. Like, you know, that's, I mean, that's like per the perfect size for my big meaty sausage hands. And then if you flip it sideways, you'll see sideways, it's all it's all fine and dandy. For the phone, for a single Stream Deck setup, I think it's good to just keep the orientation on dynamic. If you keep it on fixed, uh, then you get something like this. And again, you get run into the prohibitively small buttons. So if you're going to have just one single solitary Stream Deck with the Stream Deck XL, I, I think that's that's the way to go. Something really cool is you can actually split your phone. But you'll notice that there is no option to split your phone on here. So what's up with that? Well, I'm glad you asked. To split your phone, all you need to do is turn it sideways and then scroll down and you'll see that beautiful option split screen. How incredible. 
click split screen and then all of a sudden voila you now have two stream deck mobiles on your phone this feature is exclusive to android phones iphones don't get this because iphones don't have multitasking mode android phones do so take that but anyway now that we have two we can choose our different stream decks so i have stanley here and now we have a 32 key stream deck and a 15 key stream deck and if you are a total maniac you could do two eight by eight layouts on your cell phone if you uh, I don't know how on earth you're going to keep all those buttons straight and how you're going to even hit those buttons with any degree of accuracy. But again, Elgato is kind of stopped asking if it should and just asked if it could and just full sent it here. So thank you, Elgato. <laughs> we appreciate that. Here's my recommended layout for a cell phone. Okay. So first off, if you have it set up in split screen, if you flip it vertical again, you still get the split screen. Now, if you take your phone and you kind of resize the windows, you'll notice that now it basically puts the top one into horizontal mode and the bottom one into vertical mode. So here is my recommended layout for you. I would recommend on top a Stream Deck Classic, 15 keys for inconsequential things soundboard um you know streamer bot actions what a, what heck, light colors in the background what have you and then on the bottom i would suggest a stream deck xl right you the buttons are a little smaller than normal if you find that they're too small you can switch down to a stream deck classic which provides bigger buttons and frankly it kind of looks a little cooler too if you ask me and that way you get to have all those buttons you get 30 buttons now in a nice sleek form factor uh, that you can just sit by your desk sit by your keyboard have it right at hand's reach and it's guys i mean elgato knocked it out of the park with this app this is hands down the greatest app i've ever had on my phone I cannot, ex I cannot express that enough. Now, it's important to note with this layout, both options, both decks are going to be left in dynamic mode. Because again, it registers this smaller window in landscape mode. So basically, if I put this now into landscape mode, you'll see they're both sideways, it straightens it out. But if I then shrink this one down, if I try, it doesn't let me, it just ends up closing it. Now, if you do end up closing it, guess what? You can do this, split screen, and then tap the other one, bibbidi bobbidi boo you have your buttons back. And again, vertical, shrink it, easy, so easy, so, so freaking easy. And guys, there's so much that you can do with your smartphones nowadays that you couldn't do before to level up your streams. One example is this video here, wherever it's gonna be, uh, that talks about how you can use your Android phone as a portable webcam for your live stream. So click it here to check it out, and I'll see you there.